See there, it's a great little graphical illustration. The red line is zero, that is the absolute even mark. And if the white bars are go up, the further up they go, the bigger the advantage. And the black bars show a black advantage. Then there is a database, and here we get the alternatives. And we, if we click on a move in the database, yeah. it gets played on the board. Fantastic. And then the PGN can even be downloaded. I like that feature. Yeah. Whatever tournament or game you're following, you click it and you open it in the program of your choice. Yeah, and one of the great things I like to see as well is when we get a video from the playing hall. I like to see them in their seats, nervous, you feel the tension, you feel like you're there, don't you? Chess is really becoming a spectator's internet sport. Great that we can see that. I also love to see um, the fact that we can get in some of our friends to join us during the broadcast. And it's all interactive, that's what we love. And a lot of overview functions there. A lot of great functions there, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you take advantage of all of them. Let's get back to the, uh, to the commentary. Keep tweeting us, hashtag C24Live. We love to hear from you. Ask us anything about, mainly about Lawrence Tra life. But if you have other questions, they're also welcome. Also send us anything you like about Jan Hashtag C24Live. Absolutely. Uh, Hello guys, hello everyone. Uh, wish you all a happy new year. And uh, let this year be more prosperous and uh, healthy for everyone. So let's see, let's see, let's check check up the challenges. Uh, there are so many, so many. I'm just looking for some uh, nice attractive username. So let's go with Oops Kitty. It looks <laughs> interesting. So, starting with the white pieces, let's play B3, not to disappoint uh, Adi, Adiban, who's doing a chessable course on B3. So, I don't know, uh, what is the opening here? But, um, yeah, okay, let's play E3 and then try to develop a bishop this side, not to fiance to the other one, but um, let's let's go, let's go. So what do they do here? I think C4, yeah. Bishop D6. Let's go Gary 4, Gary G4. Let's go for all in. My opponent is not afraid, but let's see what is what is planning to do. Let's roll our pawns. I guess you like my virtual background, which 
which uh, resembles a devil. I mean, the cover of my uh, second course, chessable course, that is on Yanish Gambit. And um, so how do we attack here? Uh, shall we play g6 or um, wait for some time and then maybe knight a3, yeah? I mean, okay, looks awkward, but uh, we need to develop the pieces somewhere, yeah? I mean, just developing the pieces doesn't seem right. Just coming for the center. So can we do bishop um, d3, knight b4? And uh, what else? Bishop e4, f5 probably. Maybe, uh, what else to do? Okay, let's play d3. Okay, looks a bit passive, but... Um, for the moment, I'm just controlling the center. Yeah, he was planning to play e4, so I thought maybe d3, and then I can myself play rook g1, knight c2, bishop e2, and slowly come maybe. Okay. Let's go to g1 now. Now it's time to attack. Let's see how it goes. Uh -huh. My opponent is opening the potion himself or herself. I don't know who is playing. Is she a woman? I think woman. Yeah, I don't know. Oops, kitty. Can we play knight b5, bishop d3? Okay, let's go. Okay, for the moment, he cannot uh, do... Uh, uh, he cannot take the pawn on e3 because uh, then... Bishop on d6 is hanging, but I need to play fast. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go like this. Knight b5. Activate the knight. And then maybe bishop d3. And then... Okay, let's... Let's develop the pieces. Okay. Uh, so d3... Can we go? Ah, he needs, he first attacks a knight, yeah. So knight a3, d3, ah, not still. Not still. Okay, let's, let's go, long castle. Okay, for the moment we give up the bishop, but uh, now the center is kind of attacked, yeah, on d4. So next we'll, uh, of course he has to now take on e3, but then it opens up uh, the diagonal for the bishop on b2. Queen is active on d3, g6 is coming, h6 is coming, lot of lot of threats are on the king. Not, not going to be easy for black. Hey, beauty of chess, happy new year, happy new year. Yeah, video is lagging, I don't know what is the problem, but uh, I, do, I, do, I think soon it will be corrected. Oh my god, opponent is giving up the pawn in the center for free. So, we know what to do. When he gives a pawn, we take it. Now we take with the queen, threatening a sneaky mate on g7. But the time is very less. I must play a bit fast. So, okay, h6, let's open up. Let's just go. Also, queen d5 check is one of the things. Okay, let's take here. Everything is uh, hanging for him. I think rook g7 is coming. Knight on e5 is hanging. It's lost here. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's take everything. The rook on the seventh rank is always heaven. Okay, mate coming, mate is coming, mate is coming. Time to resign, yeah, for my opponent. Oops, kitty. It was a Nice win. Let's check some more challenges. We have a lot of uh, challenges and um, okay, let's play who we can choose. Let's play Little Gary. Little Gary. Yes. I want to see how Gary looks when he was young, yeah?
So d4. Let's play something uh, more funky here with g6. Okay, d6. Kind of uh, modern, but um, in a different order. Okay, King's Indian probably will honor uh, the King's Indian defense today. As, uh, as you can see in the app things, Master uh, Rajivo played it successfully. So let's emulate him, try to emulate him at least. So castle, E3 is a bit too passive, I would say. Not a big fan of E3. Because, uh, of course, yeah, you need to put the pawn on E4 and not on E3. Let's play in Benoni style. So open up the position with E6. If E4, then we take and play rook e8 check. Uh -huh. He wants to take with the C pawn, but then we get bishop to G4, which normally white doesn't allow in this kind of positions. And um, generally he plays H3 before we come with our bishop to G4. But now as we get the chance, we just change this knight and then occupy the E5 square. I think we are doing okay. So H3, let's take. Maybe first A6 so that um, B5 is floating in the air. And then now we'll come with our knight to D7. Probably knight E5, C4, all sorts of threats. He's not worried, he's not worried. Okay, look C8. C4 is coming. I probably should have played knight E5 and then taken the bishop on D3. I suppose that was the right way, but okay. Nevertheless, my position is not so. Okay, he allows C4, so just, just. We'll go all in, so that now maybe rook C5? Looks interesting. The D5 pawn is attacked, the A5 pawn is attacked. Hey, 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 hey all, hey all, hey guys, hey guys. Dangerous right, hey. Okay, we can take the pawn on um, a5, but for the moment, maybe I thought maybe I can include something like knight e5, knight e3 or something else. Okay, let's play knight e5. So that if I have four, maybe I'll give with knight d3 and then I'll uh, get this bishop on e2 and later take the pawn on a5. And as well, f4 weakens a lot of uh, squares for him. Hmm, b4, interesting. Opening up the diagonal for the g7 bishop. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So now we can take on a5, yeah, because then uh, the c3 knight is hanging, so he cannot really take on b7. So probably b4 is just a blunder. And um, just king. Hello, sir. Hello, Udkash. Hello, Udkash. So let's play b5. If I looks like a nice move, yeah? maybe knight of d7 and knight c5. I mean, my knights are uh... what? Seriously, <laughs> giving the knight for free, my friend. You don't li like knights? Okay, take it. <laughs> oh. That, that was a crude blunder by little Gary. Uh, Gary never gives up free nights, I guess. <laughs> so, nice to win two games. Now let's play. Um, Who do we choose? Beauty of Chess? Okay, let's play Beauty of Chess. Uh, he has a profile picture with Vidit. So it will be probably a Vidit fan. Let's see how uh, a Vidit fan fast. So e4, e5, of course, yeah. If I make two courses on e5, I'm not playing e5. It doesn't seem right. So Schielman? Aha, uh -huh, he doesn't allow. Okay, Scotch. Hmm. Gambit, he's in the gambit mode. He's too uh, spoiled by the gambits, yeah. <laughs> uh, what did I suggest here in my course? Ah, yeah, yeah probably. I, I just always uh, take, take the pawns when given free. I think bishop b4 was the move I suggested, if I'm not mistaken, probably <laughs> mixing my own. Um... But this is what I think I did, because then the knight on c3 was slightly annoying. So here we can go d6 so that um, we can also develop our knight to e7 and then short castle. 
and uh, let him prove the compensation. Probably he has not uh, studied my course. This is okay. It's of course interesting, but um, is it sound? That that is a good. Uh, that is a question. Yeah. Okay. Castle is going to come queen h5. So we have to be. Um, we have to be a bit precise. But right now, okay, knight e5 probably. Let's attack the bishop so that um, probably h6. Let's play h6. Looks h6 f4 is coming. Probably I think I messed it up a bit. A bit I don't know. Okay, bishop g4 is interesting, but then uh, he can take on uh, mm -hmm, bishop g4. Then he can take on f7 with a check. And then what do I do? It's it's not going to be easy. Uh, but I have to do something, otherwise I'm going to lose on time. It's not that bad with it, with, with its fan. It's not that bad. So okay, I have to play something. Yeah, I have to play something. Let's see if he takes on f7 with the bishop. Probably bishop f7, knight f7, queen g4, and uh, knight g5. I hope I am surviving. Bishop g5, castle, queen e6, and rook f7. Hope I am I'm surviving, but definitely not the way I wanted to go. Let's see. Let's see what he does. Mm. Yes, he took on f7, not bad. So bishop g5, castle, queen e6, rook f7 I have. He takes with the queen, which was not expected. Now I think I have consolidated my position, but I have to be a bit fast with my time. Maybe queen, okay, knight c6, let's change queens. Uh, the point that, of course, uh, we have taken the pawn in the opening, so we are not a pawn down, I guess. Yes, and uh, happy to play the end game. He, he wants to preserve his queens. Queen e8, the pawn on e4 is slightly weakened. Maybe queen of son next. I'm ruthlessly trying to change queens so that it will be a bit uh, easy to play. Do we take the pawn? Yes, of course. When given free, we don't miss the chance. I have to be a bit fast, a bit fast. To play a bit first. Okay, let's come back. Then now I can roll our my pawn on a5. Okay, support the pawn. Support the peace and pawn. Okay, knight c knight is coming to c4 and or queen to c4 and I'm a pawn. Okay, queen c4. Let's change the queens. And if he plays queen c2, then I can play rook e8. If bishop d4, then c5. And then e4 pawn is hanging. Okay, he can play rook b4. Uh, but probably I can come back to uh, f7 and then c5 or knight c6, knight c4. So many ideas, so many ideas, guys. Let's Let's see. Before this uh, banter blitz, I was just wa watching some lol moments of the 2020 uh, uh, compilation of Chess24. It was really funny. I hope uh, I'll try something <laughs> to achieve that, but I don't think I'm that funny. But let's see. Ah, F4 was hanging. I could have taken F4. Yeah. This is why you should not talk so much. Ooh, that was that was rookie for queenie for rookie one, yeah. That was a bit nasty, but okay. Now we can take so that when he takes, we can play queen of seven, not to miss mate in one, of course, on e8. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Okay, we have at least queen g8, yeah, when he plays queen h. Okay, now let's 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 roll the a pawn. Now it's totally winning. It's totally busted. Let's play some head cool moves like head six. Yeah. Anyway, it's gone. So I think time to resign. Okay. 
Hey, thanks, Utkarsh. Yeah, I would love to join Sagar. Um, today it will be an exciting finals between Raja and uh, Lavon. So, my <laughs> don't remember one course. That happens. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, it has been uh, two months already, and in chess, it's uh, it's very easy uh, to mix up things as. Um, as I play a lot of things and it's uh, it's clearly not easy to remember everything. Of course, I remember some kind of main ideas here and there. Uh, because th uh, the gambit was also not so um, often played. And uh, who else is there? Hello, sir. Very cool background. Thank you, Chinmay. Chinmay. Thank you, Chinmay. It was so sweet of you. Um, <laughs> uh, hello, sir. Big fan. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That was sweet of you, guys. Um, yeah, ha happy new year to all, uh, to little Gary too. And um, yeah, let's let's check um, if uh, there are some more uh, interesting challenges. A lot of lot of people, lot of people. Uh, the one who has Dubo, um, Dubo. Okay, let's play some uh, strong strong player. Yeah, three zero one one. Let's let's see what what he's up to. Okay, e4. He's a fide master, but he has a rating of uh, three zero one one. Okay, probably he he has got the Anish course of Anish. Let's see what he's up to. Okay, French, cd4, knight d4, bishop c5, queen d2, and long castle is the idea. Uh, let's see what he does. Okay. A6, I think here yeah, they play king b1, if I'm not mistaken, and then roll the pawn with h4. Yes, okay. So I think bishop f2 and then probably or bishop e3. I don't know. Okay, let's play bishop f2. I think it was played by Carbona, if I'm not mistaken. Something like this. Also, it's in the Negi uh, book. Um, very famous uh, book of uh, Negi, where he has analyzed extensively about the French and knight c3 and so many stuff. So let's see, let's see what he does. F6, yeah, he goes for the break. Okay, I'm happy to take. Uh, probably bishop d3 because maybe b4 and knight e4 is coming. So let's let's develop our bishop to d3 and then we'll bring the rook to e1 next. I'm pretty happy with my position. The e5 pawn is kind of, uh, I mean, the e5 square is kind of uh, um, controlled after rook e1 and then uh, his bishop on c8 of course is restricted by his own pawns so we bring the rook like i said and if e5 we just take take and bishop g3 is coming so he cannot really uh, play e5 so bishop d7 mm -hmm. Bishop d7. So can we play knight e2 and uh, bring our knight to d4? And probably I would be really happy to bring my knight uh, to f3 if uh, if possible because then it simply um, controls the e5 square and blocks the e6 pawn. Yes. So let's let's go. Like I said. Okay, he can play knight g4. Mm. Maybe I can now take and play bishop g3, perhaps. Huh, take, he can take on f2, yeah? That was his idea. And then, okay, still queen of two because rook of four, knight e7 check is there. And, um, okay, let's go. Knight of two, then queen of two, rook of four, knight e7 check is the idea. And I can take on c8. And uh, now he has to take with the rook or the bishop. So we go queen h4, g3. g3, I thought e5. Uh, then we take and rook of two. So, okay, let's go queen h4. If g6, then we go rook e5 or g3. And then we have a very strong bishop on d3. Can go rook e5, but uh, probably I can just first let's safeguard the pawn on f4 for any reason, then queen g5, then h4, h5, we simply attack the g6 pawn. Okay, as I said, now we are coming. Also, bishop g6 is one of the ideas here. 
and then at g6 queen g6 and rook is coming to e5 uh i can can i take so uh, rook e5 and then he has no defense yeah ah rook f5 is there in the end after bishop g6 head g6 queen g6 king h8 rook e5 rook f5 is there ah but we can simply take on f5 and the queen is hanging on um, uh d6 yeah So that was that was a cool um, finish. I think it's over, guys. It's over. He cannot. Ah, uh -huh. he blunders. <laughs> he blunders the queen. Queen's gambit, guys. Yeah. Okay. Let me take some questions. Uh, Viraj Pandit, say to ignore my questions. Comments just like famous ignore such. <laughs> I'm sorry, Viraj Pandit. I'm just seeing your question. So this pawn sacrifice can it be very expensive with black doubles pieces without any trouble? Yes, ab ab absolutely true. So if I'm able to develop my pieces, uh, then um, the gambit really um, is not um, that effective. But of course, it is uh, interesting, like you uh, like you uh, witnessed, like. If black mixes up the move order, then the attack can be really strong. But he knows what he, if he is doing, and then uh, he knows how to uh, bring his pieces into the game. Then um, uh, the sacrifice is not really worth it. But of course, it is interesting as well. Um, Krishna Karthik, my name is uh, Karthik twenty four. Um, yeah, of course, I will accept it, Karthik. Um, before that, I will just take your view on Magnus lose against Dubov. Yeah, it was an exciting match. Um, I was uh, in um, total awe of how Dubov played. Uh, he really played um, uh, creative chess and uh, kudos to him for defeating Magnus. And um, yeah, what can I say? Dubov uh, can Dubo can beat any anyone at any time. Uh, Ashwat Raja. Hi, Setu Anna. Do we have any predictions for the games today? I, th uh, this is going to be, uh, the games are going to go haywire. Um, both of them have shown tremendous chess. Like Raja has impressed um, um, with all the matches. Uh, uh, he has been dominating as well as Levon. So I'm really ex uh, expecting an equal fight. But let's hope. Let's hope. Yeah. the Because uh, it will be interesting as well. <laughs> Azerbaijan or Armenia. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's true. It will be exciting for the fans of uh, the both the countries as well. So, so now let's uh, take some more challenges. There are thirty challenges, guys. I don't know. As I promised uh, to accept the challenge of Karthik, let's let's check his challenge. Um, ah, okay, okay, Karthik twenty four. Waiting. Ah, I should make a movie. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting why he's not playing. Yeah, then I then I forgot that I am white pieces. <laughs> it happens, guys. That happens. So knight c3, French, my favorite move. Probably Kartik saw my uh, <laughs> last game. He wants to improvise somewhere. Let's let's see. Let's see what he's up to. So what do they play here? Of course, queen d2. They take here, I suppose. Okay, he can now take, um, I think, a3. Yeah, what do they play here? I forgot already. Okay, long castle, I suppose. a6. Now we roll with h4, probably. B5, yes. So knight e2, can I play? Or bishop d3? Uh, bishop d3, d4 is there, but I suppose there are some. Uh, uh, okay, let's take. Can I do queen to e3? I think this is a typical move just to stop um, knight e4 uh, threats in the future and also kind of restricting the knight on. Um, King b1, so if b4, then knight e2, then probably knight d4. 
uh, perhaps I could have played bishop d3, but then knight b3 check is there, guys. That, that's why I didn't play bishop d3. So that's why it's important to move the king sometimes. Knight a4, but not bad. Um, I would like to go for an end game, but yeah, okay, let's go for an end game. Let's go for an end game. Knight e2, yes. We have to uh, occupy the d4 square. Okay. The knight is strong on d4, but what next? That's a big question. I think we have to bring some more pieces. Maybe expand um, expand on the like h5, for instance. Can I do? I don't. I don't come under any threats, right? Okay, probably Black could have played h5 himself to prevent uh, me from expansion. But I, I am short in time, so I have to play a bit fast. Okay, at the right time, I'll play g4. And then if knight e3, then probably rook g1. I'm fine. So let's see. Probably g, yeah, g4 probably, yeah. So like I said, if knight e3, then rook g1, I'm fine. Aha. Uh -huh. This was his idea, but um, what if I take on uh, f5? And now I have f4, e5, very strong pawns. Yeah, I totally love my pawns, but I need to reroute some pieces first. C3, okay, rook e1, not afraid of uh, knight jumps. Go back, go back, knight. Uh, now, what can we do? Can we play rook g1? Maybe some ideas like uh, some shots on f5 later. Probably e6 I will play. Ah, he gives up the pawn himself. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the free, free pawn. opponent realized he has given away the pawn but it's too late too late he's trying to create some sort of play but wait do we give any play we just go king c2 no counter play no counter play Uh huh. Okay, let's play rook e3. I have to play fast, yeah. Okay, he can put his knight to e4, but then I can take, take, and play f5. We simply have a huge advantage. A few more precise, few more precise moves, and we are, we are, winning. If uh, king had shared, I thought rook g3. Ah, he gives up one more pawn. Okay, let's take, let's grab it. I have to be a bit careful here. Bit, a yeah, bit. Ooh, I'm, I'm running out of time. So, so is he? Queen, queen, queen. Come, come on, come on. Faster, faster. Okay. Um, who's going to be next world champion? Um, I definitely don't know that. There are so many uh, strong plays. Depends upon the character and um, uh, the work ethic. So your next tournament. I really don't know, only God knows. I hope uh, everything will uh, resume in 2021. Um, Setu, was Magnus defeat was a great upset. Um, any day, any day, uh, it, it is uh, a rare moment when Magnus loses. So it is, it is a great upset, of course. And um, like I said, hats off to Dubo for um, uh, winning the match in a nice fashion. So excellent show SP. Thank you, thank you guys.
uh, Ashwath Raja. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Ashwath Raja. Does white have advantage by playing first? Yeah, I think so. So it looks logical. Yeah. The current favorite chess player in general and in India. My current favorite chess player. I'm a big fan of Levon and his style and his way of playing. So I'm a big fan. Of course, uh, um, Bishi Anand sir and um, Magnus also, but currently Levon. So, which is your favorite opening? Uh, as now, I made a course on uh, Yanish, so I would uh, say Yanish because I found really uh, some interesting ways to complicate matters against the Spanish, which I was not aware of before. And um, bro, Valka Epri Pogadu, Nala Pogadu, bro. <laughs> Please play Tactic Tornado. Ah, you are Tactic Tornado, yeah? I'm coming, I'm coming for you, Tactic Tornado. Please respect while commenting. I don't know whom did I disrespect. I'm sorry if I am if I had, uh, disrespected someone. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Have you heard of uh, four five three eight Vishyanand? Of course. Who who doesn't? Yeah, who doesn't? When will be the next World Championship? Only if it is I'm not responsible for that. Shout out in Tamil base. Welcome, Taliba. Welcome. Um, you are very humble, sir. Th thanks, Akash. That's nice of you. And uh, do you think online chess is the future? Um, I really doubt so. I mean, of course, um, it will be a mixture of online chess and uh, OTB, but online chess is definitely interesting and entertaining. Love your humbleness, sir. Keep it a big love for Mauritius. Th thanks, Nix. It, it is wonderful to see someone uh, watching from Mauritius. Uh, kudos to you. Can you play me? Yes, yes. Of course, yes. So now, uh, I don't know whom did I promise to play with. Uh, there are some interesting guys. Okay, let's play Tornado, yes. Because he has have, uh, promised him Tactic Tornado. I often keep my promises. Now I can wait because I'm not... Uh, White pieces. Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. I'm not. Uh, I just uh, missed some chess twenty four chat. I'm reading this also. Keep posting here. I'm reading YouTube as well. I guess uh, difficult to alternate uh, uh, both of them. Uh, Hi, Burns four twenty. I'm reading this as well. Fabio or Dubo, that's a difficult question. Okay, E4. E5, of course, I follow my reporter. Yeah? What else I do? I made two courses, Lifetime Reporter and Yanish. So check that out, guys. And um, if he plays Bishop B5, I'm really skeptical of what to choose between the Archangel or the Yanish, as I made the two courses on it. But he goes for the Scotch. Scotch is really hot topic among um, a lot of players. They really like to open up the position and uh, uh -huh. He's setting a sneaky trap on F2. Let's see if he falls for it. Of course, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's see. No, he doesn't. Good for him. Okay. As uh, I have placed my queen on F6, I thought uh, it is logical to place the knight on E7. Uh -huh. He tries to change the bishops. So bishop b4, or we change it. I think bishop b4, yeah. I like to keep the pressure on the c3 knight for some time. Bishop d2, maybe knight g6 or bishop e6, or maybe bishop e6 looks natural. Because then we can castle long. Right now, the c3 knight is under pressure. Let's see what he um, what is going to do. Setu OP, Setu OP. Thanks, thanks, Naman. Thanks, Naman. Watched Queen's Gambit? Yes, of course. Who, uh, who has not? Did you love the series? Sagar, Jairam? 
I was in total uh, love with the Queen's Gambit series, and that actually inspired me to make my Yanish Gambit course. Uh, okay, we come with our bishop to c5, of course. Did you know my chess instructor, Anurag Mamal? Yes. A good friends with him. He recently got married. Uh, Adi Kangal is just to him. I was always in awe of his physical fitness. Uh, Anurag Mamal, yeah, I'm talking about. So now we can take because our knight will come to g6 and then the f4 square, the tax squares are under um, uh, are vulnerable and then now he's not able to uh, castle long. So we are having a great development advantage. So let's see. I appreciate very much uh, that you play against lower rated players. Also, some GMs don't do that. Uh, thanks, Michael Tall. Um, what can I say? Thank you. Thanks for that. The Knight of Four. Castle, I'm uh, thinking of playing Queen G5 so that um, then he simply loses the Queen. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here's King of Two. Okay, King of Two, Queen G2 is coming. That was a cheap old trick. Knight H3 is coming. I don't know how he's going to protect it. Now, of course, if he had played A3, I would have taken the Knight. Yeah, if uh, because I'm getting a free pawn on C3. Who is your all-time favorite classical game of chess, Casper Immortal or Game of Century, Fisher versus Brain? Um, it's really difficult to compare. I like both the games. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Fisher as well. And Casper, uh, this game of Casper against Tuffalo was also fascinating. Is Mr. Sultan Khan famous in India? Yeah, he is famous. And there is a very nice book on him written by Daniel King recently. Um, probably my opponent is uh, hearing my commentary. Yeah, that's how he came to King of Two. Maybe who knows? But now we capture this pawn. I guess we don't have anything better. I thought maybe yeah, okay, we just captured. Who cares? Yeah, we captured this also. Capture everything. My G two is coming. Bye bye. Tactics Tornado. Okay. Okay, that was that was a nice game. Why aren't you streaming so much, bro? Uh, I am really um, uh, tied up with this chessable courses because uh, I, I like you saw that it took almost two months to finish this course. So I was completely glued into it. And um, it was difficult to uh, do streaming and uh, uh, prepare for the course at the same time. And that's why. So uh, in overall chess, what all GMs prefer knight on bishop? I think in overall chess, they prefer bishop. But I am really a knight person. I love knights because they are super tricky and can uh, jump all over. And as always, I'm a fan of dark knight as well. So I like knights. Do you think Magnus has burned out lately? Um, it's very difficult to say. But um, I think uh, probably uh, he might be a bit tired playing a lot of online chess. Uh, he's definitely stronger and I hope and I believe that he will come back uh, strong as always. And of course, uh, one cannot win all the tournaments. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> he's a human too. So to play a match with, to be your coach, Magnus Vichy. Um, my coach, I would... Uh, of course, uh, I would be happy. I have already trained with uh, Vishy a few times. Nevertheless, I would be happy to um, train under him. It is always a great moment uh, uh, to see ideas flowing whenever I train with him. And of course, I would like to play a match with Magnus. <laughs> Which opening, Scotch or Gyuko? I don't know. Uh, it's a de uh, it depends upon the character fight. I like... Um, Scotch because it's uh, more easier to play and more uh, kind of uh, aggressive than Gyuko because Gyuko needs some kind of manoeuvres, positional uh, subtle uh, moves and then some move orders. And um, uh, do you have a favorite YouTube channel? You mean from chess? Yeah, there are so many uh, uh, 
great youtubers like uh, nakamura vijit uh, agadmeter adivan I, i love watching those channels of course raja um, i love his uh, humor and um, so what do you think about b3 <laughs> remember your friendship is at stake <laughs> <laughs> no b3 is a great move <laughs> so um, of course um, it's entertaining to play b3 i mean you get that swag yeah when you play b3 of course it's it's um, it's a great move and uh, i i hope uh, a friendship friend, friendly banter will continue at uh, the twitter <laughs> until uh, he releases course <laughs> adiban releases his course uh, so let me take uh, some questions from just 24 chat to so when did you start playing chess and who was your first opponent uh, i started playing chess at the age of 5 too early and uh, who was your first opponent i don't really remember um, who was my first opponent so uh, my all time uh, my all time favorite game is evergreen game i don't know who's this so do you like chess humor of course i'm i'm big fan of chess humor Uh, it's always um, uh, interesting to say some things in a humorous way because it reaches more people. Um, Seth Raman, do you think Aronian will win the Athens Master? I don't know. It's it's a it's a tough choice to take sides because both of the players have dominated in all the matches if you witness and are just playing great chess as well as Aronian. So it's very difficult to choose one. I mean, it will be an exciting battle for sure. Um, I mean, there are so many questions. Okay. um what do you uh, who do you think yeah like is uh, if you develop quickly and place your pieces on optimum squares can you play any opening yes that that's obviously true you have to follow some general principles of course in some openings you have to uh, know some concrete ideas and um, uh like uh, some uh, like um concrete things like let's say if you play gambit or if you play some um, aggressive variation then yes if you play something like uh, a slow kind of positional uh, battle then of course if you place the pieces in a, a right squares you will be always able to play quite efficiently and um, how about anish giri what can i say about anish yeah, he he is a great roster sil now setu doesn't appreciate samaya no no uh, he, I, i have said it many times in my uh, when i went to stream that um, he has done some great videos and i still stand by my word i uh, i don't have any grudges with samai please don't take it in the wrong way he is doing great job and he has um, he has taken chess to another level that's for sure and um, since you are well quoted opening expert for uh, how many top moves should we prepare an opening against since you are well quoted opening expert for how many top moves it depends it depends yeah like um, depends on the level it depends on the opponent and um, i would say as far as you are uh, when you feel comfortable yeah like you you have to feel comfortable in certain uh, after certain moves so if you do then you can stop your analysis it depends upon just how comfortable you are so as a beginner i was always i always play london system as white and sicilian for e4 and venoni for d4 as black any any suggestions yeah it, it's it's a, it's a great it's a great opening as well i don't have any suggestions if you uh, love playing it keep playing it as long as you enjoy it's pretty dopl- diplomatic lol <laughs> i don't know <laughs> no i really like chess humor yeah what is uh, being diplomatic here ana background op very level yeah thanks thanks akash hi from sri lanka is it possible to become a grandmaster without studying opening theory um yeah it is definitely possible but you need to know some um, sort of uh, general things general opening theory i think that will do because myself uh, till i became an uh, uh, probably international master i was not well versed with the opening but um, yeah is it possible why are indians so smart i don't know probably it's <laughs> i don't know i really don't know how to answer this question uh, thank thanks thanks for the uh, compliment anna ninga super thanks anna thanks anna so which club do you play in european league uh, i really don't know london sucks i don't know why london sucks <laughs> what is your shortest chess game i think um, i mean shortest chess win i would say against a very strong player would be against ding i think it was 25 or 28 moves 
and beating such a, a, a player like ding of that caliber was um, was my best win i think you can check the game it was played in 2015 in the india china match i played the black pieces and uh, defeated him oh my god so many questions so do i play uh, do i play on um, <laughs> just 24 hours or answer the questions it's a tough choice probably i have to play a bit yeah otherwise it doesn't look like a banter blitz <laughs> um who do i play who do i play okay let's play mikel tall i'm a big fan of tall and by the way guys do you know about a, a very fun fact about tall yeah he just had three fingers in his right hand or left hand i don't remember which hand but he's um he he's a miracle i would say i mean with, uh, with all those physical um uh pain and then uh, the way he um uh, way he plays chess okay first let me make a the way we he play chess the way um, his style is it's simply tremendous yeah what a player tall is i just love his style okay b3 yeah my friend would be happy my friend ad would be happy seeing this my friend ad would be happy fian should join the bishop on b2 Okay, we are doing uh, double bishop, knight b2, and probably have to try for e4. That is the main idea of uh, playing like this. Maybe queen e1, and then e4, and then e5, and then I get queen to e2, and slowly attack. I don't know whether they really release the tension like like this, but I ha I'm happy. So queen e two. Uh, probably can I push e five or it is it is too uh, early. Is it too early? Okay, probably I can play a three. Yeah, a sneaky move because after e five knight d five, I am I want the c four move. So I have to kick this uh, uh, knight right on d5. So now his knight is under attack. I mean, he has to go knight b6. Probably, and then knight c5 is coming. Probably it's, it was not that great to play uh, to weaken uh, the light squares. Okay, let's let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope for the better. question and answer is so fun <laughs> yeah that would be fun but then uh, the chess 24 guys would kick me out if i don't play chess and then <laughs> so 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 okay, of course we take not so happy with the how the opening went because now the bishop on his own is quite deadly but then now we are coming with our knight to e4 to block it let's see let's jump in bishop e4 or knight e4 i would like to keep the knight because bishop e4 i love to change this and get the knight to e4 on the other hand i would like to play knight e4 because i don't know i like this okay bishop e4 knight e4 Bishop e4, probably bishop d4. You cannot play. Okay, let's bishop e4, bishop e4, knight e4. I like it. Okay, let's go. I, I would like to preserve this knight, yeah, because then it can later jump to d6. And also, rook d2 doesn't work here because of bishop at some check. <laughs> That's why you don't play b3. Uh, 
yeah that's why i don't play beat it <laughs> okay can i take and play knight e4 uh, what else uh, okay then we come with our queen to h5 and then yeah it's 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 a, it's, a, it's a dangerous position for black i feel somehow but probably uh, I'm not so happy with knight to e4 because probably he can play bishop e7 my pawn on e5 is slightly vulnerable and his knight is coming to c5. So his only thing is that, okay, if he exchanges the knight on e4, then he's fine. King g8 is not the move I expected because it really, really not the right way. It looks too, looks too passive. Uh, can we... Uh, Rook d1. Probably we can jump with knight to e5 yeah, at some point. Some point. Also, I am time up, so I can happily chat with the guys. Uh, uh, if I do b4, okay. Just sneak in with the knight. Sneak in. Now the bishop is also shut shut down. Yeah. Okay. One one. Now time uh, chatting time. <laughs> Mike Mikthal is not equal to Mikhail. Of course, I know uh, first ray of sun. I was just joking, guys. So why do uh, why do I get annoying blue Twitch screen on chess twenty four? I don't know. What is covered in your e4, e5 course? That is a good question. Okay, I have two courses. First is lifetime reporter on one e4, e5. Against the scotch, it is d4, e4, knight, d4, queen, f6, like I played um, in a in number of games here. And against the gyuko also, I have covered uh, bishop, c4, knight, f6, d3, h6, which is um, offbeat and uh, very interesting. And against the Spanish, it is archangel. And the second course is exclusively about the Yanish defense, uh, which is thrilling and uh, which springs an element of surprise and I, I feel it is sound theoretically sound as well as, as I have found many interesting novelties there so that is what is covered in my two courses you can check it what skill does Magnus have that allows him to beat uh, even the greatest GMs like Fabi, Napo, Lev, you uh, I have not played with Magnus so <laughs> well, thanks for putting me in that caliber I don't belong there but anyway I think uh, he is um, what can I say? His willpower and then his character, I think. His character, um, he has a great character. Uh, I read an uh, interview of Dubo in New Inches where he mentions that um, uh, Magnus' character is of another level. Any game he plays, whether it be football or uh, tennis or some other game, he always um, tries to outclass the other players. And I think that is the main thing uh, Magnus has. So... What else? What else? What else? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, do you think Kashmir is in India? <laughs> I think it belongs to India. I don't know. <laughs> right now it is in India. Why is chessable so expensive? Uh, um, no, uh, Eric, I don't think it is expensive because if you see, we have put in a lot of effort and also our own analysis. And if you if you see um, my course, I have actually spent three to two, two to three months on working on it and um, uh, typing a lot of text uh, because generally we don't um, uh, when we analyze we don't type a lot of text to make it easily accessible for all the players and um, all the people. Uh, we type in a lot of text. We uh, really work hard to cover all the sidelines and um, we spend a lot of time. Uh, I think uh, it, it is, um, there is a lot of discount right now. And um, so you can always purchase uh, chessable courses on discount and um, it will be really worth. Um, so, so which book do you re recommend? You mean chess book or uh, other books? Chess books, I think uh, the Gelfand books are of great, great interest. You can have a look at it. Uh, probably I missed a lot of uh, questions before. 
Oh my God. Uh, it's just beautiful enough to waste your life over. <laughs> I don't know. If you, uh, depends upon the person. It's not wasting of time. Like whatever you do, you just do it. Uh, whichever attracts you, you um, spend time. So it is never a waste of time or something like that. And um, any upcoming tournaments um, which are going to participate, I really don't know. I, I really hope to uh, play in some events. Uh, let's hope, let's hope. Fan from Bahrain, sir. Thanks, uh, thanks, uh, Kashyap. Nice of you. Uh, diplomatic is equal to controls. I don't know what does it mean. I think Magnet should be more humble. He feels like a baby when he loses. I think, uh, I don't think it is the right way to put it because, I mean, he is a world champion. He has dominated uh, uh, how many years? Like, I don't know. Like, he has clearly dominated every tournament. Of course, uh, from his point of view, we can um, we can understand that it is not easy to lose a game and uh, uh, the emotions, he exhibits kind of emotions. Of course, it um, when, a, uh, when um, it happens with everyone, I think, and um, coming from a world champion, is it quite understandable? Understandable because, like I said, he has dominated and uh, he rarely loses. So it, it is a different feeling for him. And uh, unlike us mortals, so we, we generally lose a lot of times, but um, unlike him. And um, uh, question and answer is more fun. Yeah, thanks, uh, uh, Kandilwal. Sir, please play with me. What is the ID, Abhirwal? Um, just let me... Uh, uh, just let um, know your ID and then I will play. Other than just any favorite game, I love football. I love football. Thanks for not telling the duration of your shortest game. <laughs> um, uh, I, I think I told, yeah. I mean, uh, probably I won some games in 13 or 10 moves, but uh, against Grandmasters even because of some blunders. But uh, Ding Ring game is clearly my favorite. I mean, defeating a 2750 plus under uh, 25 moves is something um, I'm proud of. And um, uh, are you viewing this chat? Yes, yes. Arush, yes, I'm viewing this chat. <laughs> Otherwise, why I'm reading uh, uh, from the chat? Yeah, it's, it's kind of um, how hard it is to find a novelty in the game. How long do we have to prepare? I think uh, nowadays novelty is a different term uh, compared to before because uh, we have a lot of strong engines and we have correspondence games. But nevertheless, like you see, there are so many games happening over the world and uh, everything is kind of played here and there. So it is really becoming difficult. The challenges are different uh, compared to the previous years because uh, there you, ha you have to find something, uh, uh, something more uh, like let's say a practical and uh, in modern times with the engines and all the games played um, uh, even each day nowadays if you see there are a lot of online games so it is difficult to really produce a novelty and especially with strong engines everyone uh, is well prepared so I would say it is difficult but it is possible still because chess is vast and you can always find some new ideas um, if you go for it I guess he's switching back and forth from chess 24 chat and white chat. Yes, that's that's right, Ashwat, because some people there um, are not happy with uh, me just reading the YouTube chat. That's why I'm switching back to uh, chess 24 and um, YouTube. Anna, where you will be guest today for our things? Uh, today I'm not commentating, but I'll be uh, happily watching uh, the show, the chess 24 show, as well as the chess base India show. I'll be uh, keeping an eye on it. Are you missing OTP? Definitely I'm missing and desperately want to play. Uh, I'm, I would like to play OTP and I'm missing it badly, very badly. Some things uh, you, uh, sometimes you take some things for granted and um, one such thing is OTP. When you need it badly, you, uh, you're not able to play, but uh, I hope it all resumes and uh, um, comes back to normal. Let's let's hope for the best. Let's pray for the best. So, why did you choose to make a DVD on Yanish Kambit? Yeah, that that's a really uh, good question, Venkat Raman Karthik. Um, I hope I'm not talking to the Venkat Raman Karthik, who's a grandmaster. Uh, so, uh, glad to talk to him. 
uh, first of all uh, against the spanish um, uh, i was um, looking for ways to produce a funky reporter yet theoretically sound and um, a quick quick, quick one yeah, against the spanish because uh, if you see the berlin or the other systems like chigorin brayer it's a kind of um, positional and involves a lot of um, subtleties but uh, then comes the yanish gambit where you simply um, steer the game into wild territory and uh, uh, spring a surprise on your opponent from early from move three and it is always entertaining to play gambits over the board and um, i was also inspired by raja yanish exclusively in his early um, years and um, yeah that's how i came uh, to yanish gambit and i, I want to um, see myself in a different dimension just not lifetime reporter but also something funkier something more interesting uh, yet theoretically sound as well that is more important because uh, just not i'm just not recommending something for fun purpose but i have checked it thoroughly that's that's the main thing um so bo please come to commentate for the antics master finance i really uh, i really enjoyed uh, commentating on the quarter final thank thank you uh, dil rukshan out loud to let's see let's see why most strong place of india is from south india i think because of the fact that vishi uh, vishi anand influenced a lot and he's from chennai that's that's the reason i feel so and also we have a lot of tournaments like saturday sunday we have a lot of events existing here and also uh, one of the reasons um tell us about kings gambit please 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 love from ahmedabad uh, hi kings gambit is a great opening without any doubt it is a ro- one of the ro- romantic openings and um, yeah what can i say yeah it's it's played from 1620s yeah i mean it has such a rich culture so how much importance is given to chess in tamil nadu uh, um, yeah it is it is uh, a lot of importance a uh, lot of importance has been given to tamil nadu i mean chess has been given in tamil nadu uh, love you setu anna only gm who reads each and every chat great respect thanks akash thanks akash so can you make a course on one e4 c5 i think anish has already made it uh, on e4 c5 um mayank so so um i cannot really enter that right now <laughs> so adiman roast yeah 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 we are having a friendly bad, uh, twitter banter so you can check uh, and it will i think it will continue <laughs> till till he releases his 1v3 course and um, can you start playing again arush yes yes definitely i'll start um okay let's start as arush has said probably i'm wasting time in reading the chats uh, let's let's start let's start guys ah arados thank you looks like some familiar uh, uh, dp he has so i i was attracted by this dp that's that's why i chose uh, this game um you can see the dp this is some um, some interesting guy is okay knight of 6 okay hmm london london let's go to london okay the main idea is to get e5 in this type of positions okay probably next next time going to play e5 let's see what my opponent has to do has to do so um can i play e5 myself so e d5 queen d5 and then probably he can also i can go knight d5 and then knight to f4 something like that but um, yeah probably should take with the knight yeah because knight e4 then uh, queen e7 he has knight g5 uh, i don't know not easy to uh, make a choice here but probably i will take with the queen because i feel safer with the queen okay queen c2 let's play h6 i hope or uh, can we play rook to d8 or okay let's play h6 here yeah. just safeguarding here yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Not so happy with my how my uh, about my opening um, how it went. Nevertheless, ah, Queen C5 was not nice. B4 is coming. Queen C5 was not nice. Definitely, Queen C5 is a bad move. But my opponent returns the favor. I think I have to prevent this. Uh, can I go Bishop E6? But then takes takes b4. Um, yeah, I have to play fast, yeah. Otherwise, it's not okay. Yeah, not okay. Let's play bishop e6. Let's go. Okay, I'm sacrificing the pawn for development. Yeah, what else to do? He can take the pawn, but I think I have to play fast. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I think uh, my plan was to go takes b4 and um, okay, let's takes b4. Then what? Where to go? Uh, queen. Okay, let's take. Let's take. Yeah, let's play quick. This I was not expecting. Uh, I thought he will play b4 and then change. Okay, I have to play really fast. Yeah, I'm down on one minute. Time to shut my mouth and play fast. Time to shut it. Ninety five or uh, was hanging, so I had to play bishop f seven. So queen g four, maybe h five. Can I go? Okay, queen f five. Maybe I'm coming for the spawn B2. Let's see how he responds. Okay. Probably. Uh, let's kick this rook for the moment. Right now, not talking so much because I'm. Less in time, really less in time. How do I attack this one? I don't really don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. Oh shit, might be six. <laughs> he didn't take. I think he's playing for time. Okay. No, no, no. Am I going to lose on time? This is pathetic to lose on time. Have to pre move. Ooh, that was time loss. So that's that's the reason, guys. So he has my profile picture. That's that's how he won the game. <laughs> so I lost to Seth Raman only. Yeah. I have a lot of, a lot of games. Pokiri Gambit. Okay, let's accept Pokiri Gambit. I don't know who is Pokiri Gambit. Looks like a strong player. Uh, probably I know him. He's an Indian. Okay, now I seriously have to play fast. Have to play fast.
Okay. He gives up the bishop, but then knight e5 he gets. So it's all, it's all, I think, theory kind of. Um, he has this, okay, it resembles this b3. Can I go knight d7 here or, uh, or not? I want to change this knight on e5, but then he has queen h5 sorts of tricks. Okay, let's go short castle. Next knight d7, yeah, next knight d7 is coming. I think I need to really challenge this knight, otherwise it's it's getting worse. Because the knight on e5 is so strong. Probably if knight f3, then I can play f6 and I'm fine. Uh, let's play f6 or f5. Okay, f6, of course. Yeah, what, what is f5? f5 gives a square on e5. Like my position, double bishop. The b2 bishop is blocked. So, if d4, then I think, uh, can we play d4 or is it too much? Um, so, d4, uh, e4, I'm, I'm happy. If he moves, uh, the rook to h3. Uh, not, not that, that happy, okay. Rook h3 probably I thought queen up 7 and then bishop to d7, some sort of um, ideas. Ah, he is Ilamparthi, really? I'm playing with Ilamparthi. So then I have to be careful a bit. Like I said, the bishop is coming to d7. Okay, still, uh, I cannot do e5 really because he has f5. Uh -huh. Position is slightly getting trickier. Okay, let's play g6. Yeah, it is getting trickier. Okay, next maybe e5 is coming. At some point, yeah, at some point, not uh, immediately. g4. That was too brave. I think I have to play e5. Otherwise, otherwise, it's not what I want. Now, now I am fine. I don't think it's Elon party, guys. I don't. Uh, with the profile picture, I'm not able to see that. Also, somehow I, uh, I don't feel. Can I take on g4? Yes, that's that's the spirit. Oh shit, queen g4, rook g5, queen g5 is there. Ooh, that was an escape, yeah? That was clearly the escape. I was so lucky, I was so lucky, guys. I was, I was extremely lucky. But now I have to uh, play something. Probably, uh, can I do... Um, So now I have to cool down a bit and come back with our with my bishop. Okay, I can come back once again. I hope because rook h5, queen h5 is there. Again, I have to play a bit fast. Yeah, it's not easy to uh, talk and play, but but it's fun. Fun is all what it matters. Fun is all what it matters. Simply winning. But have to be a bit careful. Because now, uh, okay. If rook f6, I thought queen d4 and rook e1. Some, some trick will come, guys, here and there. I don't know how it is winning still, but. So rook f6. Can I go rook e1 check? And uh, yes, okay. Let's let's give this check. Okay, thank you. I, I don't think it's Elampati, guys. Now 
now it's totally winning now it's bye bye but this is confirmed yeah yeah, yeah. he is indian i think so i mean pokeri sounds like a tamil name yeah i mean from the state i have so do you have more courses on coming up on chess table yeah yeah i'm um, uh, some more things exciting things are coming up but um, it is not uh, the time now to reveal it soon um, i will let you know guys definitely uh i'm going through ag's night of course at 0.5 x speed in a blink of second he just goes through the lines ap op ag lol yeah yeah he's extremely fast and he has he's energetic guys yeah that's but when you listen to him you feel like energized uh aren am i right like because he talks so fast you also like if you are in a sleepy mode or something you get energized yeah so are you making uh, planning to make your next chess table goes Uh, hello carlo yes yes i am going to make are you waiting for otp chess or will you play online events ashwath uh, yeah yeah i am de definitely waiting for otp chess if i get a chance to on some online events of course i will um, play some right now uh, i don't see uh, any uh, big events apart from the really top level chess so say to tell something about your upcoming courses yeah yeah definitely some exciting things coming up mank uh, i will tell you soon so can you tell what is 2000 rating in rapid online corresponds to fide uh rapid i don't know which format you're talking about there are a lot of uh, formats yeah like rapid 10 10 minutes plus something or 15 minutes plus something uh 2000 rating um i think rapid chess and classical chess are totally different it is really tough to compare it both um yeah i already told about king's gambit love from ahmedabad um what about the playing against arathas i don't know did you watch queen's gambit definitely yes i watched i totally loved it how aggressive is your play and what is your favorite opening i think um, yeah it's it's uh, you can check my games of course it's uh, really aggressive but right now i think um, i mean in my childhood it used to be um, more aggressive than what i am now probably um, because the strength uh, of the players and the resistance have improved and what is your favorite opening yeah like i like i said i made two courses on e5 so right now uh, skillman comes to my mind which is my favorite opening um caracon or french what do you prefer i would prefer caracon because the point is that okay the c8 bishop is developed yeah in french it is restricted so i would definitely prefer caracon having said that french is also an exciting opening i have played um, it many times uh, do you beat vishy i have played uh, against vishy two times in isle of man uh, for consecutive years i first game i lost and second uh, game i made a draw the white pieces favorite player of all time of the past i love alakin he's a great player yeah tall is also great i mean there are a lot of great players tall fisher alakin kappa um, wait let me switch to just 24 chat yeah, otherwise they are going to uh, not be happy with me so okay yeah novi zagreb i am watching this chat against this no no don't call him dirty flagger i think it's all the part of rules uh, first ray of sun it's it's fine it's fine I mean, I have to play a bit fast. It's my mistake. So, so what else? Uh, I think it's difficult to accept challenge now. Uh, hi, Setu. Great, Govind. Hi, hi. thanks for the uh, game master uh, thanks aradas it was it was fun playing with you uh, the, uh, i love the profile picture by the way is indian chess still popular in india indian chess still popular in india 
yeah you mean indian chess is different chess yeah i am not aware of the rules of the chess definitely it's not popular uh, we play the chess uh, what it is played in the events uh, you why must i have played against probably more than 30 gms yeah because of your name yeah your name uh, um, mikhil tall deserves it gm say to please accept my challenge uh, sherlock holmes yes definitely but right now i don't think uh, we have enough time to play a game i will just answer some questions and then uh, probably next time definitely how long have you played chess and how long does it take to good take good i think i have i started playing chess at the age of 5 and um, yeah it depends upon some uh, depends upon um, your work and uh, how long you put your effort and uh, your tournaments and all these things um it it is uh, really difficult to give a definite answer of how long it will take um, you to get more stronger and achieve the grand master or international master it depends upon a um, lot of factors uh, no more games uh, sorry sherlock holmes um, i'm um, um uh, we are running out of time that's the reason so india will be the best chess country in the future yeah i hope so uh, no visa thanks for the nice comments swiller so, howell krishuk were the best um i don't know what you're talking about so who was your first coach my father was my first coach and he is also a chess player a rated chess player so he was my first coach first coach nice to see you setu uh, thanks chess 924 yeah chaturanga yeah i yeah, know chaturanga yeah of course yeah but it is not so famous it is not so famous Uh, that wasn't about your opponent <laughs> okay okay first play off son so how to get a game against la gms easy and fun to get a game with i am life long and i am sub but uh, okay i don't know what you're talking about um so what else what else um okay let me answer some uh, raja or lavan it is a difficult difficult uh, question to answer i think both are in great shape and um, it is very difficult to take sides i'm really hoping um, to see a great fight tell some aggressive openings yanish gambit is a aggressive opening that's why i made it made the course and um, how to better in end games i think a lot of play a lot of uh, uh, books and um, yeah that's how you get better in anything you want i mean you should like to play end games yeah that's that's one more reason that's one more um, thing which will help you uh, what is your opinion on preg yeah preg is a great player and um, yeah to achieve uh, such a feat at a young age is really uh, tremendous and uh, yeah he 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 is humble as well i mean uh, matured at an young age like nehal preg all these guys are so matured um wish i was like them in my uh, childhood days so i said do you practice fisher random or do you prefer classic i love to play fisher random the randomness uh, of um, different uh, positions in uh, chess i definitely love fisher random more than classical for sure because it's, it's it's fun yeah you don't need any theory you don't need anything to prepare you just go and have some fun and play chess um please show some aggressive openings i have already made a course uh, lokesh you can check that uh, yanish gambit is one such opening bro can you play with unpremium members it's it's not in the rules of uh, chess 24 so i really cannot play so so i think probably um vidit or nihal or prak i think three great players it's very difficult to compare uh, each one of uh, them because nihal and prag are still young and vidit is an established gm so it's very difficult to compare them yo what tips do you have for a beginner should we buy books memorize theory or just depend on logic i think um, all of this <laughs> um, guys don't spam he will read no it's fine it's fine uh, let them spam i don't uh, it's fine yeah it's the they can do whatever they want so say to which is a most painful loss uh, what did you learn from it i think my most painful loss is from uh, the asian championship 2019 so i played with lee kwang in the last round i was black pieces just a draw would mean that i would become the asian champion and i lost the game uh, perhaps i was a bit nervous and um, 
yeah this title pressure was there and um, i learned from uh, that game is that probably um, just to uh, uh, keep playing better chess and not to um, um, think so much about uh, the uh, victory or something and um, it should automatically come yeah that's that's how titles are one of course you need some uh, luck championship luck and if you really concentrate on your moves and then you'll be able to put a better fight better fight and uh, i think uh, that game i was not able to play my full strength because of this um, a title thing at the back of my mind so yeah that, that is one thing i learned from it uh, what will you do if you lose a game it depends yeah some game okay yeah okay 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 the, i think the time is running out guys thank thanks for all um, coming and um, it was it was a pleasure to chat with you guys and um, i hope you had fun and enjoyed it so thank you for now yeah go for the courses you will love it as well if you want to see more of uh, e4 e5 and um, yeah thank you guys it was it was a pleasure it was a pleasure